Hey guys, it's Fall and Hobo here, and due to extreme demand, I will be opening up the G36N case and maybe review the um, Scorpion mod another day. So, um, anyways, I'm just gonna start up another vote um, for my next review. It's either gonna be a machine gun, the MK48 Mod Zero, or it's going to be, um, let's see what else, what should I do? The SG5N case. Um, leave a comment below, vote, and um, in a few days the vote will end and whichever one wins I will do a review on it. So SG5N case or the machine gun um, MK48 Mod Zero. Uh, leave a comment below. So anyways, I'm going to be reviewing the G36N case today. Let's see what we got. G36E Valkyrie for one day. That's great. Alright, I'm going to review this right now. Can you put it up? Can you raise it up? For the camera bounce like you getting crunk I'm in my zone right now, I'm in the groove right now I sing along with the song like wow Yeah, that's a tune that makes me move Get loose off of music with attitude, uh And I won't stop, let my body rock so hot Until I hear the countdown like Hey guys, it's Fallen Ho here doing a review on the G36E Valkyrie Due to extreme high demand, I opened the G36N supply case which was sent to me by Boiled Dogs. Thank you, Boiled Dogs. Um, anyways, the G36E Valkyrie is pretty much the annex variant of the normal GP G36E. Um, the only difference is that the G36E Valkyrie has a um, nicer... Um, well, it's really opinion-based, but I think that it looks really nice. Um, looks nicer than the GP version. Um, some people find that the uh, Valkyrie actually has lower recoil than the G36E GV version, but there really is no proof. It's really based on um, personal feelings and um, that sort of stuff. Um, basically, they are on par, but some people just find that they aren't. So anyways, the G36E uh, Valkyrie is a very, very popular assault rifle. Um, you, it is used by all sorts of players, um, whether you're a noob or pro, it's a very commonly used assault rifle. Um, since the G36E is pretty much the exact same as the GP uh, G36E, um, this review pretty much applies for both assault rifles. Um, the G36E, it's really, really um, very powerful. Um, some people like to call it overpowered, but I'll talk more about that later. Um, the G36E is very versatile. You can use it in any map it excels pretty much anywhere. Um, it, it just works in all situations. It's a really well-rounded gun. Um, it comes with a built-in sniper scope, which many people uh, like. Um, it's pretty much a scope that has really nice magnification, um, just like a sniper rifle. Having a sniper scope allows it to excel in short ranges, medium ranges, or even at long ranges as well. It looks like they're vote kicking me and it looks like I'm actually good. Yeah, I just got kicked out. I'm just gonna join another room. Alright guys, sorry about that. Um, apparently everyone thinks I hack. So um, anyways, I just joined a Wave Rider game and um, I'm just gonna continue the review here. Um, the G36E, it has the highest accuracy rating out of all the uh, assault rifles in the game. Having very good accuracy with a uh, nice sniper scope makes this gun extremely deadly at medium or long ranges as well as short ranges. The G36E is very similar to the uh, NX weapon AK-74M except that the AK-74M it doesn't come with a sniper scope and it has a fire rate of fire than the uh, G36E. Other than that the stats are pretty much the same. Um, now let's get into the stats of the gun. Now the power. Um, the G36E is a 3 shot kill to the front and a 3 shot kill to the back. Now sometimes it could be a 4 shot kill to the front. It really depends on where you're hitting and the distance you're shooting from. 
but generally if you're up front it is a three shot kill to the front. The G36E is the third strongest assault rifle in the game, um, M14 being first place even though it's not really an assault rifle. Um, the, AK, the AK series in second place and um, yeah the G36E is in third place having the third strongest power. Now for the fire rate. The fire rate of the G36E is actually below average. Um, it's better than the AK-47, but still, compared to many other assault rifles, it is below average. Now, many people like to call the G36E overpowered. Um, it is not really overpowered at all. Um, it has, yes, it does have above average power, but then at the same time, it has a really low uh, rate of fire compared to other assault rifles. What really makes this gun good is its accuracy. The accuracy is the best thing on this gun. Like I said before, the G36E is very versatile. It works nearly anywhere, at any situation, any map. You can use the G36E um, at long ranges, medium ranges, short ranges. It works everywhere. Um, the accuracy is just amazing. Combined with the very nice sniper scope, it's just amazing. It's a bit more over accurate than it is overpowered. So anyways, the accuracy on the G36E is the best out of all assault rifles. Now on to the portability. The portability is actually not that great for an assault rifle. It is slightly below average. It has one of the worst portabilities out of all the assault rifles in the game. But the portability, it shouldn't really matter too much because all assault rifles are moderately heavy so it really won't affect your gameplay too much. Now the recoil. The recoil of G36E is probably the worst thing about this gun. The recoil is just crazy. It just goes straight up. The G36E must be used as a tap or burst gun depending on where you are. At long ranges you must learn to tap with the G36E. At medium ranges you have to burst or tap and at close ranges it's best to burst but then you can go full auto only if you know 100% that all the bullets are gonna hit the person. So anyway the recoil on the G36E is pretty heavy and you will have to learn how to control it properly. Now on to my final words for this gun. Um, the G36E as I said before is a very versatile weapon. The pros of it are its high damage, amazing accuracy, um, the nice sniper scope and its versatility. The cons would be slightly below average rate of fire, below average portability, and the biggest thing of all is probably its heavy recoil. You will have to spend a lot of time trying to get used to G36E. Um, it shouldn't be too hard to um, manage the recoil, but then however you will need to practice. I would recommend the G36E to anybody. Um, it's a very good assault rifle. Actually no, it's arguably the best assault rifle of all the assault rifles in the game but then however I am not really a G36E type of person um, but still I do recommend the G36E it's a very good gun if you've never tried it before I would totally recommend it oh and I forgot to talk about modifications for modifications you really don't have to worry about anything at all you don't need an extended magazine on it and you don't need a suppressor on it and the scope is already given to you so don't worry about that at all yeah I just got kicked out of the Wave Rider game Apparently the elite mod thinks I hack as well. Everyone thinks I hack. I got 9 and 2 in my first game in 2 towers and for my wave rider game I got 19 and 6 just over a 3 KDR. So this pretty much ends my review and let's move on to question and answer. Alright so Infested Bunker wants to know should I buy this or M4 Super 90? Now he posted this on my AA12 video so um, what he's basically asking if he should buy the M4 Super 90 or the AA12. Now I haven't done a review on the M4 Super 90 yet and I haven't really used the M4 Super 90 enough times to say that I actually like it more than the AA12. So um, I will be reviewing the M4 Super 90 very soon so just keep an eye out for it. I will be doing a comparison between the AA12 and the M4 Super 90 to find out which gun is more superior. For now I would not recommend either shotgun to you yet. Um, just keep an eye out for my M4 Super 90 review which will probably come out very soon and I will answer your question on that video. So um, if you guys have any more questions just leave a comment below and you might have a chance to be on my next video. Oh and uh, remember to vote for the MK48 Mod Zero or the uh, SG5 N case opening. 
Um, whichever one wins, I will review next, so just leave a comment below. I'll see you guys later.